Hello, hello. This one is a 230 volt three phase 32 amp uh, plug. And uh, I have this adapter that connects this plug to the red adapter. This is a 400 volt uh, 16 amp plug. And then you see the red adapter with the UMC. And you see here, we are actually charging on something. And uh, let me show you here the speed because this is a bit unusual. Okay, let me just close the door. Here. So we are charging. As you can see, the oh, 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 it's freaking slippery here today, all right? But let me show you how the speed. It is charging at 19 kilometers per hour, and that is not possible with 16 amp one phase charging. So we are actually charging at what uh, what my friend from <laughs> Trondheim claims to be three phase. 230 volt, not 400 volt, because if you see here, if you go to setting and then switch to energy, it shows 11 kilowatt, but it isn't 11 kilowatt we are charging at because 11 kilowatt wouldn't take eight and a half hours to finish. So this is just a display error. If the car knows it, it, it will estimate the correct, uh, I mean, it knows the charging rate and it will also estimate how long it will take based on that. And you see, it should take about eight and a half hours to charge if we charge at around three something kilowatt. So, what we're gonna do now is, um, oh, by the way, let me just explain a bit. Usually when we charge at 400 volt, this little three here will appear and then we are charging at 400 volt, but uh, the Tesla cho shows a voltage between the phases so it doesn't show 400 volt it will show like 200 something so this is actually okay beside from that side f this one is uh, not uncommon when you charge at 400 volt but this thing <laughs> is the one that is weird because we get slightly higher speed than uh, you know than regular one phase but this is not a full three phase uh, increase because that would be like uh, how much is that? 1.73 something. So, um, yeah, but anyway, you know what I'm gonna do now? Um, I'm gonna stop the charging, but I will show you here. Oh, let me go out. Oh, it's so freaking slippery today. Oh, yeah. Let me try to not break a leg. Okay. See here. Here's the charging station, which is connected to the one inside, but this one is configured to only pull out one face. So I can take out maximum of uh, 32 amp, but I'm gonna charge on this one now for, uh, and I'll also on, only charge at 16 amp. And then the voltage should be the same, but you should see that the speed is different. So let's try that. And oh, by the way, I forgot to mention 19 kilometers per hour in, in um, visible Tesla, it shows up as 18.8 kilometers per hour. So we're gonna compare this result with uh, the regular one phase charging. All right, on the second test now, I use the charging station and um, that will only charge at one phase. Well, I mean, it's been configured to charge at one phase. And if you look here on the screen, I have since the start dialed down to 16 amp. And it displays 16 kilometers per hour, but in visible Tesla, it is 16.6 kilometers per hour. And um, the difference between this one and the three, uh, so-called three-phase charging, is uh, 13%. So uh, you see, actually, you see now it takes longer to finish. Before it was 8.5, uh, eight and a half hours roughly, and we also been charging for 40 minutes or something. So. Uh, uh, the so-called three-phase charging is obviously faster than this one, slightly faster, 13%. Will it make any difference? Probably not, but um, I guess, you know, the the three-phase uh, 230 volt is pretty rare. I think Norway is one of the few countries in the world that has this uh, 
maybe also in Albania or something. But uh, then again, the three phase, okay, the three phase 16 volt, uh, sorry, the three phase 230 volt 16 amp plug is um, it is available in many places, uh, especially in places that don't have uh, 400 volt in Norway. So um, you know, it is actually this is like a proof of concept that the Tesla chargers can utilize some of it. It should have been like 28 or 29 kilometers per hour or something, you know, the square root of three if you actually utilize the whole three phase. But um, I don't know, for some reason you only get 13, but then again, it's always good. And you see, by the way, in the test, I could only utilize 16 amp because I was using the, the red adapter and the red adapter can only go up to 16 amp, it can't go to 32 amp. Yeah, so it's like you use the red adapter to trick the car into enabling three phase charging in the charger. Yeah, so, um, well, this is pretty interesting. And again, as for me, I can go up to 32 amps. So for me, I don't need this, but uh, for other people, yeah, maybe.